All right, welcome back, Fishaholics. Uh, we're just getting out here on the water, and we've got about three hours left of daylight to fish. The clocks just went forward yesterday an hour, and uh, over the weekend I was up in Jacksonville, did a little fishing, but just was visiting, and uh, now that we're back in the Port St. Lucie area, we're gonna try and catch some fish. And I last left you guys off uh, where I was exploring in the kayak, doing pretty well, finding some snook, finding some new waters to fish, and I caught that 26 inch snook, which was my biggest snook of the season until the day before I left for Jacksonville which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw this tank right here that I surprisingly caught. Check it out. All right, what just happened? Look at this giant. Insane. <laughs> so that fish measured 37 inches and sorry, I didn't have a video of me measuring the fish. I had video of barely any of that fish. It was an epic, 10 minute battle thanks to the anglers that were standing nearby that snapped that picture and uh you know it was funny how the unlucky and lucky events kind of just chained together and resulted in me catching that fish because that was my first day skunking it out of the park catching nothing fishing a new area and then on my way back i just stopped at some random bridge that looked pretty good as a last resort and first pitch under the bridge with a new glide bait i snag it so determined and angry to get that plug back, I get my kayak unloaded with any kind of fishing gear, just my pedals, my paddles, and I go onto the bridge, get my plug, and then first pitch behind the piling, and that 37 inch snook thumps it. So it, it was just unbelievable, you know, how fishing works that way sometimes. And uh, you know, you never know what to expect. Like today, I'm not really sure what to expect. We can catch something big, we can catch nothing, we can catch a slam of fish, redfish, trout, snook, which would be pretty sweet, but this water looks pretty high and uh, it feels like a light breeze out of the northeast, which hopefully that'll be good. I'm not really sure we're gonna try it, but let's go see if we can find some dock thumpers. Let's do it. Tide just started going out, that's why it's so high and it's so murky because of this wind churning it up. So that's why we're gonna start off with a little white swim bait, see if that gets the job done. And because of how high this water is, these fish might be real tight to the docks, up shallower towards the beach, which will be nice because then we don't have to wade all the way out there. Oh, I thought that was a fish for a sec. All right, we just snagged the dock. Last night we actually fished two from about 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. And uh, I caught one snook, it was a tough bite. Did see one big snook, a lot of little snook. But uh, they were feeding on uh, real small bait, either shrimp or you know, some type of uh, anchovy, maybe pilchards. So it was real tough to match that bite. There he is. Oh, it's a jack. Little jacky. Hello to you too, buddy. Let go. Oh, a pretty fish. Pretty cool fish. Even though I think down here they're more considered trash fish, right? Yeah, I think so. They're like our bluefish to the north. And he destroyed my bait. I'm gonna have to put on a new swim bait now. All right, so we're gonna try a swim bait with a little chartreuse tail, try something different. Today is my kind of Florida day. Overcast, not too hot, light little breeze. This is like a overcast summer northeast day. I love it. All right, this is the dock. Looks like People haven't been taking care of this one. Always the older looking docks produce some fish and have jig heads. It's a good jig head, but the hook is uh, completely rusted out. I've actually used these before, but it's not mine. It's got a Berkeley gulp on it. There's one. Knew it. <laughs> little guy. Real little guy. Ooh. <laughs> Crazy. All 
All right, on the little root beer chartreuse tail swim bait, nice healthy fish. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get another one. All right, nothing else here. I'm glad we broke the ice though, and it's been about another 30 minutes. We're gonna keep moving on to some other docks. I guess we'll keep this swim bait on, and uh, I just noticed that there's another guy uh, fishing down a couple docks from me. I hope I'm not fishing behind him, or I'm not gonna be basically overcrossing where he's already fished. That might uh, hinder our chances of actually catching or getting on a good bite today. There's one. I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, little jack. Jack City fish, Jack Jack City fish, Jack City fish, Jack Jack City fish. Whew. They just destroy the swim baits. Definitely a nuisance. All right, let's try a different color, this green silvery swim bait. This'll get them. All right, so we're starting to bounce from dock to dock pretty quick now, not wasting a lot of time because we don't have a lot of time. But uh, before I forget, we're using a 4000 shield today with 20 pound power pro, seven foot dark matter, medium heavy power fast action spinning rod with a three foot 30 pound leader. I find 30 pound is like that perfect in between leader, 40 is a little heavy, 20 is a little light and then we're using a 3 16 ounce jig head that uh, I recently just found at Bass Pro Shops and they're working pretty well. They got a strong hook, sharp hook, and a significantly bigger barb than the jig heads I used to use. Actually, you know, that jig head that we found today was the jig head I used to use for this type of fishing, but I decided to switch and get a bigger barb because I had a lot of fish jumping off. And since using this jig head, I haven't had any jump offs or too many jump offs. And then I'm just threading on a little Bass Assassin Sea Shad swim bait in you know the various different colors that you saw today. Hmm, it's blowing my mind right now that we're not getting more bites out towards the end of these docks. There's a fish. Never mind. Oh. is boom oh it's a decent one and he's crazy holy moly this one was crazy not a bad one a little bigger probably a little smaller than the one we lost, but hey, we'll take this. No worries. <sighs> Whoo! That was a real hot fish. And a 23 incher. All right, let's try silver now. See if we can get them on that color. These baits are real soft. It's like we get one fish out of each one. That might be because of the jig head because I have a wire gripper on here. And I think that wire gripper, when a fish grabs this and gets hooked, you know, that just rips this bait and then it gets destroyed. All right, it's 7.23, I think the sun just about set. So we'll probably have about 20 more minutes of daylight. So we gotta get on them quick now. We got like two or three more docks I wanna hit. So if we can get one or two more fish on these next spots, that'd be pretty sweet. 
Huh. I just saw a blow up over here. Yeah, there he is. Boom. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Crazy fish. I love it. Oh, another blow up on this piling right here. The stock might be loaded with snook. If there's a lot of bait here. Alright, so I'm glad we're catching them a little bit now. And uh, since we're running out of daylight quick, this will probably be our last dock. We're going to be able to fish and film at. And since we're running out of filmable daylight, I'm going to do my outro now so I don't have to do it later in the car with uh, the lights on like I usually do. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely, if you're coming down south and you're a striper fisherman up north, try this type of fishing out. I love doing it because it's so relatable and similar to what I do up north. And it's definitely something you can easily master if. Uh, you're just coming down here for a short period of time. I'll put my tackle and equipment in the description. If you have a comment, post it and uh, check out the Fishaholic merch to help support the channel. And like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, just missed one right there. There's one. Oh, one last one, man. Woo! A crazy little guy. There he is. The end of this dock had a little green light that turned on it, and that guy was sitting right in there.